Hey everybody, welcome back. So happy to see you today or talk to you, whichever. I have had a seriously amazing summer of a lot of travel. I am currently in Orlando, Florida with my business mastermind working with my coach and my incredible colleagues on how to build a heart-centered, soulful business that nourishes you, nourishes your clients. It's been an incredible week. All of this travel has led me to realize something really important about our homes. Want to know the secret? The secret is we have too much stuff. <laughs> I think the reason we walk into an Airbnb or we walk into a hotel room and we go, oh, it's because it's missing all of the clutter and overwhelm that so often is present in our homes. And I want to help you with that. This episode is all about how to get your home and your life in order, how to really get yourself organized. And I promise you it's easier than you think. If you are new to my work, I wanted to introduce myself. I'm Dr. Edie Wadsworth, creator and founder of Life Mentoring School and the Life Mentoring School Coach Certification Program. We help passionate women impact generations with their gifts. So if you have been wanting a community and a coach to hold you accountable, to help you dream again, to help you achieve the dreams of your heart, we would love to have you go to edwadsworthcoaching.com. You can explore around. There are several different ways that we can help you and we would love to do that. We're gonna talk about getting your life and home in order. I think it's that time of year where we're starting to feel the pressure of, oh my gosh, this, Part of going back to school sure would be easier if I could find things, if I didn't have big piles of paperwork everywhere, if my home felt a little more manageable. And I think the worst part about having a messy, cluttered home and a life is not actually the clutter, but the shame we feel about it. I want you to think about Maybe when one of your girlfriends stops over or heaven forbid your mother-in-law stops over and you have that sinking feeling of, oh, I've got to get my life organized. I've got to get my home organized. Or maybe you scroll through Instagram looking for easy solutions to your overfilled, under-organized house or your overfilled, under-organized life. And then you panic order three more cute baskets or you buy another planner that will probably go unfilled and unused. And you do that in order to keep reminding yourself that I can do this, I can do this. You have the hope at least for a minute that maybe this time it will work. Maybe this strategy will work. Maybe this organization system will work. Uh, maybe this planner will actually work. I don't want to be embarrassed. You know, when my mom stops over or my mother-in-law stops over, I don't want to keep feeling so overwhelmed in my life. And the, the reason that I'm tying these two together is that the problem actually is not the clutter. The problem actually is not the overwhelm. The problem is actually not the things in your life that are on your schedule. The problem is is not your inability to be a good housekeeper or to be a proper adult. I have been so hard on myself over the years thinking, why can't I just get organized? Why can't I be like my sister? I have one of those sisters whose purse is always organized and, you know, planner is always filled out. And I was like, why can I never be like that? And it took me a long time to realize that the root of the problem was the same in both cases. The problem is the clutter that's in your brain. It's the same part of your brain that's creating that mental clutter and overwhelm that's leading to a cluttered and overwhelming house, that's leading to a cluttered and overwhelming garage, that's leading to a cluttered and overwhelming purse. It's all the same thing. And I really have good news for you, a best kept secret. The solution to this is simple. It took me a while to implement the things that I'm gonna share with you today, but I'm gonna to share with you two strategies that have really helped me 
make so much progress in this area. If you walk in my house right now, you will find a beautiful and organized space that I love to go home to. I'm headed home tomorrow and I can't wait. I remember we were traveling last week. We had stayed in this beautiful Airbnb. And when I walked into my own house, I was like, oh, I finally done it. I finally created that edited, beautiful, more simple space that I crave sometimes when I'm traveling. And the answer is not more baskets. And the answer is not just exactly the right planner uh, that's going to help you get organized. Although in Life Mentoring School, I do say we have an amazing planner um, that we actually teach you how to use. I think the problem with just buying a new planner is that you don't have the skills and the tools to actually use it, to actually implement it. And so the first part to this is that you really do have to let go of the shame and what it's creating for you. For years, I shamed myself for this. I felt guilty. I'm like, why can't I be one of those people who has it together? Why can't I be one of those people whose home feels organized? Why can't I be one of those people who puts things in a planner and actually does it and actually keeps up with it for more than three days? And that shame that we create for ourselves keeps us in a cycle of being stuck. That shame is a lie. That shame tells you that you are unworthy, that you that there's something wrong with you at your core, that you're just the type of person who can't do this. And I promise you that that's a lie. And if you keep believing that lie, you will stay stuck because when we feel shame from there, we hide, we buffer, we continue to order things to make ourselves feel better. Uh, we continue to buy more tools and more planners to try to get ourselves organized. But because we're, we're doing it from a place of shame, we never follow through. And releasing yourself from that shame is so powerful. Understanding that there's not something um, inherently wrong with you, there's something about your brain that wants you to keep staying in this overwhelm because it's comfortable. And I promise you that releasing that shame is easier than you think. This is something that I teach my clients how to do in life mentoring school is to release yourself from those emotions that are keeping you stuck because what it's creating for you is more of the same. You just keep buying new throw pillows. Uh, you just get more candles. You just get more storage containers. You just buy more planners. And that is really never going to work because what is happening is that your self-sabotaging brain is just going to keep you stuck there in that emotion of shame and you're never going to be able to get out of it. So releasing yourself from shame is so important and understanding that it's not something inherently wrong with you, that you just need some tools that actually work, that actually get you out of the cycle. My second secret weapon is learning to manage your amazingly powerful mind. Your amazingly powerful mind has two parts. There's this part of your brain that's the God-given, wise, powerful, incredible part of your brain that can plan and follow through with those plans, that can create amazing things in the world. And then there's that survival part of your brain that wants you to stay safe, that wants you to keep doing what you've been doing, that doesn't want you to spend too much energy. And that part of your brain is also very powerful. And if you don't learn to recognize the difference between the two, and to manage them in a way that allows you to operate from your highest self, from your truest self, from that God-given wisdom, then you will stay stuck in this self-sabotage cycle. I promise you that the way you think about yourself, about your life, and about your house become your reality. I could come in your house right now and take a look at it and I would know a little bit about what's going on in your brain because what's going on in your brain will show up in your house, in your purse, in your bank account, in your relationships, in the way you set or don't set goals, in the results that you create in your life. And it really is a matter of renewing your mind. 
And, and when you learn how to do that, you transform your life. You're convinced, you say things to yourself like, I'm just overwhelmed, I'm just messy, I'm just unorganized, this is just who I am. I said that for years too. And you're convinced that those thoughts are true because you look around and see evidence, but it works exactly the opposite. You're making those things true by the way you think. Those thoughts are optional. And if you don't learn an effective way for reframing them, you will keep making them true. I stopped saying, I'm overwhelmed, I'm unorganized, I'm messy. I just stopped saying that about myself. I realized that those thoughts were so powerful that I was making them a reality, but they are optional. And once you master the two steps of releasing yourself from the shame so that you can create something different in your life and learning to manage your mind where you see that God-given wisdom of your prefrontal cortex, that place in your brain that has your highest good and wants you to create the most amazing things versus that part of your brain that wants to just survive and keep you stuck. Once you recognize the difference between the two and learn to live more from your highest self, once you master these two steps, and I will show you how exactly to do that this month in Life Mentoring School, you won't recognize yourself. And you won't recognize your home for that matter. And all that mental anguish, all that shame, all that beating yourself up over the last few years, all of that energy that you currently spend rearranging clutter on the Titanic, literally, will be transformed into pure gold. You will stop the cycle that's keeping you stuck and you will create a home and a life that brings you so much joy, so much peace, and so much space. Space to create so much goodness in your life that can spill over to other people. And I promise you, this is simpler than you think it is. Not only will you free up space and time, but you'll save money because those storage containers and all those planners are expensive and you'll save your sanity because I promise you, this is causing you way more mental stress than it needs to. And life is hard enough. We don't need to make it harder for ourselves by letting that shame keep us stuck in cycles that are not good for us. So if you thought getting your life and your home in order was impossible, or you thought, oh, this is, maybe it's possible, but it would just take forever. It would take a year or more. I promise you, you're wrong. One epiphany, one powerful shift, one incredible thought, one light bulb moment could change everything. You're one thought away from a different life, from a different home. And you'll drop that, I'm so messy, so disorganized, such a hot mess, so overwhelmed story for good. That story is old. You've told it long enough. It's old. It's tired. It's not serving you. And I will show you how to shift it this month when you join Life Mentoring School. I promise you that you will watch the overwhelmed you transform into hope and joy and peace and so much clarity. I promise you that from that space, you will create the most inspiring spaces wherever you go. You will become the common denominator that wherever you go, you take that with you. It's a skill that you can use not only in your home, but in every area of your life. So do not wait, my friend. Head over to ediewadsworthcoaching.com. You'll find the link for Life Mentoring School there, or you could go straight to lifementoringschool.com slash enroll, and we will see you to get our homes and our lives organized in a way that you never even thought was possible. Love you. See you there. Bye, friends.